two days in a row. Boy, you guys are lucky. And tomorrow's going to make three days in a row when we do Between the Rolls. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of what the hell is this show called? Murder Hobo something? Uh, the Campaign. As you may or may not know, Mother Nature screwed us over. Uh, Ernie's got his apparel. I got my apparel. Uh, no. Sorry. Hi, Kyle's just got his chest. Uh, if you want to buy this crap, it's right below my face. Uh, Mother Nature took out our podcast on Saturday. Yesterday, uh, we had Carol and Blake on. Tonight, we've got Ernest and Kyle. Uh, Chris uh, doesn't like us, didn't want to show up for you today, so his character's dead in most uh, likelihood. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Buy our shit if you want it. If you don't, don't care. Uh, tonight, uh, these two jackasses uh, are going to uh, see what happened to them as we do a time leap forward sam beckett style uh just so that everybody can get the jitters out after being uh, hung up in fink and causing a multitude of problems so we are going to start with lucas uh lucas who are you who are you playing and how the hell did you get out of fink uh so i'm Ernest. i'm playing the character of lucas who is the uh wood elf anti-druid and uh i got out of fink by not getting caught in the first place um, yeah, in fact, I spent most of my time uh, fucking around one way or another trying to get Kyle out of prison, though I guess he didn't need it. Uh, <laughs> by the time I met up with him, he had already freed himself, so we went to break his gear out of the Quartermaster, and then we fled Fink somehow through a crack in the gate or fence or something. Was there a fire? Yes. Uh, that's how we had to burn open the Quartermaster's door. It was solid. Last but certainly not least, Kyle. Kyle, who are you? Who are you playing? And how did you get out of Fink? Oh, my gosh. I'm Kyle. I have been in prison for a few sessions now. Uh, 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 I played Dewey Dacamel, the live barbarian slash rogue, because prison made Dewey a hard, hard gnome. Get hard. <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't seen that movie, you got to see it. I'm just saying. Kevin Hart is a comic genius. Get hard. And you learn how to keister because there's some useful tips there. Where do you think this came from? Uh, okay, uh, gentlemen. Uh, you have both uh, ran through the flames of the fiery tunnel, possibly set by the gnomes, possibly set by something else. As you arrive up top in the uh, building that Dewey, you saw, and Lucas, you are not sure where you're at. Uh, you notice that neither one of you have eyebrows. Fear not, they will grow back. Uh, Dewey, as you look out the window, you see the gaping hole in the fence line where the new construction was at. Pointed out to Lucas, you two, I'm just going to guess, kick open the fucking door and run to freedom. I'd like to actually make a new hole next to the old hole. That's fair. Uh, Lucas, would you like to set that new hole on fire? <laughs> um, no, not, not this time. Wow. Uh, well, progress, folks. Uh, as you two uh, seek your escape, a quick left right shows no signs of the uh, non aerial Aarakocra, and you, by dice roll, opt to go right, which is clockwise around Fink. Uh, as you huff and puff, uh, you hear a cacophony of noise, because I'm going to reuse that term, uh, as the war elephant is smashed down, but trying to get back up, you see a great bronze shadow swooping over the top of the skies, over the city, uh, and you keep close to the fence line because you know there are archers in the tower and you will most likely get plucked uh, if you go into open ground. As you sprint forward, you, you near the front of Fink, but you hear a loud noise. Give me a perception check, gentlemen. 15. 10. Both of you still hear the noise. You look to the southeast, 
because the entrance to Fink is on the south. You look to the southeast, and the tree line where you have visited several times before is now home to a large column of regular troops. It would appear as though uh, you guys are William H. Bonney, and the cavalry is coming to get your ass. Uh, from your position, you surmise you might be able to hide, or you can try and make a break for it to the east into another copse of trees. So are they human or gnomes? They're, they're presumably human. Okay. How they're, tall is the grass between us and the trees? Uh, Dewey should be okay, and as a wood elf, Lucas can probably crouch low enough. I would say you can roll stealth at advantage. Cool. I'm going to try and do that. Same. Okay. Uh, 24. 19. Both of you, uh, secure yourselves make a low brimmed sprint for the cops of trees. You hear a cry of a dragon, but it does not appear to sense your presence. And the military are all looking up at the wondrous sight that is a dragon flying overhead. You reach the small cops of trees and you can indulge yourself deeper into this forest. You know that about six, seven, eight hundred yards away, is the road, so you don't want to go too far, not knowing how deep the column goes. What would you like to do? You can uh, go north, where you've come from. You can go south through the woods, or you can go uh, further east, which may place you uh, around Simon's Hollow. So... Where's that? What direction is this library that do we want to go to? It's on south. another continent. Is that continent south? Yes. Then let's go south. Let's go south. Through the woods. <laughs> Through the woods. Excellent. The library we go. Uh, you are going to, I assume, skirt Simon's Hollow? Uh, we're one of men there. I'm not going back. You okay. Know, it's to kill the rest of the people. As you go through the woodlands, uh, you're going to have to stay low and uh, not quite fast, so low and slow as you make your way south. Uh, after several hours have passed, it is almost pitch black uh, because it has been a very long day for you guys. Uh, so it's about time you made camp. Um, sounds good. I can uh, do first watch as in meditate and hope people don't show up. Yeah, is it a warm, is it warm here? Is it fairly cold? Do we want a fire or can we maybe sleep in the trees and tie ourselves so you we don't fall out? You can sleep in the trees. It appears as though a thunderstorm has brushed past you headed south. Okay. If you want to to the trees, you can, or you can make a fire. It doesn't matter either way. Uh, I mean, I just need four hours for a long rest, and I'm not unconscious for that. So, I mean, if you want to try and do a long rest, I can meditate. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll go for a long rest, and I'll just kind of tie a quick hand to the tree. Cool. And I will meditate. So for the first four hours is my long rest, but I'm conscious. So if people do show up, it does interrupt my rest, but I can't, I'm not going to be surprised. Fair enough. You, so do we, you're up in a tree? Yeah, I'm up in a tree and just lightly tied to it so that if I start to slip, I'll wake up, but at least I'll have a good handhold. Okay. I'm at not up in that tree. I'm at the base of that tree. Fair enough. Uh, four hours pass. Lucas, give me a perception check, please. Okay. That is a 12, wait, 18, sorry. You can hear Dewey saw on wood pretty soundly, but your elven eyes seem to have picked up a disturbance uh, through the trees. It would appear as though you got a camper ahead of you. They don't notice us? It'll win a bago. It's, nope, uh, nope, 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 Clark, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but you can you can take the dog. Uh, yeah, no, it it is about a hundred yards away. So unless they're an elf, they would not spot you. You guys do not have any open flame. Uh, you, I mean, the, the night is not unusually cold. Uh, so you assume, assume, you know what? Give me a survival check. Let's see how well you assume. Modify 20. You assume it's probably a human because they're the only ones stupid enough to do that. Yay, we're smart. Cool. So there's this person camping out and Dewey's asleep. And how long has it been since we started resting? Four hours? Um, yeah, I wake Dewey up and let him know about the person quietly. Climb the tree or are you going to throw rocks at him? Oh, climb the tree. Damn it. <laughs> uh, dex check. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. That wasn't good. Got a 10. 10 is good enough, although you'd think for a wood elf you'd do it a whole lot better. Uh, <laughs> Dewey, you feel a light tapping on your leg. I think I'm it's just goblins. Imagining the prison where I got a tattoo while I was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You kick uh, Lucas in the face, knocking him out of the tree. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> uh, I let Dewey know about the uh, the person a hundred yards yonder and ask if he wants to go rob him or see who they are. I mean. Yes. Why would we rob them? We're heroes. Yeah. We're, we're heroes. We're not. And, and Perpetual always has more money than me. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Perpetual does have the sticky fingers when it comes to the gold. Yeah. And Perpetual's not around. Now's my chance. Let's go. <laughs> I'll are you going to. a thousand gold if we don't rob them. Are you going to untie yourself and go down? Yeah. Uh, another DC check for both of you. Um, 18. Can I use my muscles to do this as opposed to my... I give you acrobatics. Not athletics? Nope. Uh, 16. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you both plop down to the uh, base of the forest, silent as a mouse. Go ahead and stealth check your way on up there. Give me... Give me two rolls each on stealth. All right. First roll is a, what do I get? Plus three. 16. Second roll, five. 15, 16. <laughs> uh, Dewey, uh, you are quiet as a church mouse right up until the point where Lucas the wood elf uh, steps on an old stick and it cracks loudly. Uh, a shadowy figure moves away from the campfire. Uh, you guys are about 30 feet away. You see them move further south. So the flames are obscuring uh, where they went. Roll initiative. Roll an initiative. <laughs> Seven. Sixteen. <laughs> Luckily, we were just here to talk. Yeah, not Rob. My stealth check. Ha! You guys don't hear shit from me. Uh, so you know there's a shadowy figure. You know that there's a campfire here. Uh, you see a bedroll similar to what maybe a military guy would use. No, no. I, I, I shout out, hello. Language? Common. Hello. We're tired. We're travelers. Like to go up to the fire with a cloak around me, shivering. <laughs> hello? Uh, odd even even Dewey as you move up with your old man cloak to the fire an arrow is shot right in front of your feet 
uh, from the angle, you can tell it wasn't meant to hit you. And you, you both hear a voice, hold where you are, identify. Who's trying to kill us, Dewey? I don't know, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, it is your turn. I, I use control flames to put the fire out. Mm, very nice. Ooh. You both have dark vision, correct? Yep. yep. Gnome and the elf. No lights. We're not looking for a fight. <laughs> Dead silence. Um, cool. I, I look for heat signatures for people. Anyone? Uh, give me investigate. <laughs> I can't do the clack sound. 14. You see it. I see him. Yep. You see a single heat signature about man size. Uh, maybe you can see the crossbow. Maybe you can't. I try to sneak up to the, first of all, does this person look confused? Like they're looking around like they can't see. That would be the general appearance. And I'm gonna sneak up on this person. I'm gonna uh, make noises and be the distraction. Stealth roll at advantage. Oh. Please don't shoot arrows at me anymore. Oh, I hit something with my knee. Ow. Lucas, uh, you are able to creep within 10 feet of this individual and uh, approach him from his rear. Uh, he is kind of doing this and seems confused. So, I, fuck man. <laughs> what should I do, Dewey? Should I blast him with a lightning bolt? Take a chance. I didn't think this far ahead, usually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I hate Zoom chat, folks. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, do not do that. <laughs> uh, you you've clearly got the drop on him, Lucas. Yeah, can I try and use a uh, non-lethal damage to knock him unconscious? Sure. Cool. So I'm gonna swing with my magic sword. And that was a 26 to hit. Oh, yeah. That easily hits him. All right. Cool. Probably and kill him I just outright. conk him for six, seven, I mean, damage, non-lethal. The individual drops his crossbow and crumbles to his knees. He puts up his hand to deflect any uh, reoccurring strike, and it is his left hand. He puts up. Uh, you hit him from dead center and he goes, hold, hold, hold. Why did you shoot an arrow at my colleague? I didn't. I shot an arrow at you to not. I look oh. for other people. This seems suspicious as fuck. Do you have a light? <laughs> oh, this person is just blind. Pretty much. Um, to keep you know, doing my distraction. Ah, ah, this arrow hit my knee. Ah. Your friend's lying. I know I didn't hit him. Because you're a bad aim. You tried, though. I saw. <laughs> and I, can, while we figure this out, I'm going to tie you up. Fine. I, I bind his hands and, and legs. Front or back? Back. I don't That's want this guy running away. That's fine. He's he seems rather uh, complacent at this t at this time. Okay, and then I'm gonna cast cure wounds on him to uh, to heal him up. That's fair. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I watched that tonight too. <laughs> so he, he's full health now. Uh, he's a full health. Cool. I just helped heal them all up. And. Um, Cool. Now that he's tied up, let's uh, search his belongings, Dewey. Uh, I, I use produce flame and reignite the, the campfire. 
Ah, uh, the bonfire ignites, sending a nice warm glow over everything. Indeed, it is a backpack uh, from the military. Uh, he has <clears throat> standard uh, footman apparel. Uh, did you lay him down in the ground or did you push him up against the tree? Uh, he's on the ground sure. on a side so I can see that he's not trying to undo the knots. Give me a perception check. Not so hot. Twelve. He looks mighty familiar. Do I recognize him? Perception check. Oh, yeah. shit. Was he one of the soldiers? Can I do an investigation check instead? Yeah, I'll give you investigate. Yeah, 14. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he looks familiar. Um, neither role is sufficient to really put spot on, though. All right. Was I he at the miners' camp? Were you at the miners' camp? I don't know what the miners' camp is. Fink? Fink? The Fink <laughs> mining? That's where the military was going when uh, I decided I didn't want to be in the military anymore. Oh. Why is that? Have you ever been in the military? It sucks. They promised me condos at San Diego. I didn't get one. They lied. Oh, so you're San Diego is another continent away. Yeah. And here I am stuck on Sedellas. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a traitor. Not a traitor. I'm a deserter. Deserter. Strawberry or chocolate? Cherry. I'm right. young. <laughs> do we, what should we do with this guy? Roll initiative is what you should do. Oh, no. All right. I am rolling hot tonight, boys. 21. <laughs> uh, eight. Uh, Lucas, Dewey, you hear the guy shriek at something behind you, and a look of terror fills his face. All of a sudden, a heavy breathing can be heard and a large tromping coming up from behind you. Lucas, you whirl around, and it is a bear-like figure with a long beak covered in feathers going, hoo 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 an It is an owlbear. You won't find those in a zoo. <laughs> Not yet. We spared no expense. Uh, AC 13 to hit this thing. Um, cool. Meanwhile, the soldier's like, cut me loose, cut me loose. <laughs> so, Dewey, we can totally outrun this tied up person. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry, Dewey. Is this your first time on Murder Hub Week? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do it. It was out there. <laughs> My hands are clean. <laughs> <laughs> I even healed the guy. Come on. I was being somewhat good in this. Not really. <laughs> Let's go rob this guy. <laughs> Let's He's leave him for the elbers. <laughs> uh, cool. Lucas, so what do you want to do? This thing is closing fast. It is on top of you guys. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm going to lightning bolt this guy. Wow. Yeah, drastic measures. Uh, uh, so 14. that is a DC 15 dex. Well, he's tied up, so he fails. Oh, I need the owlbear. 15. <laughs> 14 uh, plus 1. Yep. Cool. So that is half of 8d6. Shit. Da, 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 I'm getting the live barbarian hair going on. All right, 15, 15 lightning damage. 15 lightning damage. Yeah, you look like that picture I put out of me right after the shower as a frost giant. Uh, 15. Uh, the owlbear is next with a 19, and it has two attacks. Uh, Odd Lucas, even Dewey. First attack is going on. Odd Lucas. Second attack is... Even Dewey, uh, Dewey, you are orange and white. Uh, Lucas, you are the brand new dice, uh, the bronzy dice from the producer. Ah, uh, God lover. Two 17s add, oh shit, add seven. Uh, 24 to hit you guys? Yep. 
Just a little though. Uh, the bite is 110, and the claws are 2d8. Ooh. Oh, 1d10, right? That was on oh, 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 yeah, you got the 1d10 plus 5. I rolled a 9. You get 14. Uh, the claws are 2d8 plus 5. 14 plus 5 is 19. As both you are slashed and bit, blood splatters on the tied-up merc. And he screams in horror and shits himself. Dewey, you're up. Um, Keep in mind, uh, this is a difficult, not a hard challenge. <laughs> I would like to rage. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to kick the owlbear and trip him. I think it outweighs you by times four, but sure, go ahead. Break your foot. Well, I mean, athletics check from you. Or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Uh, 16 plus one if it's dex, 17. 27. Uh, I will take it. Higher than yours? Yes, that would be higher than mine. I'm still not sure you, well, I suppose you could trip me. Okay. Uh, new round. Uh, oh, oh, I ain't done yet. Oh my God! This is why I hate Five E, ladies and gentlemen. Well, no. Dewey has sixteen more things he can do, uh, and all I'm doing is biting and clawing. I hate Five E. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't use rage. Bonus action. And I used half of my attack action. I'm gonna go back to Two E. Fuck these guys. <laughs> uh, well, eighteen on the die. I assume I hit. Yep, 13 is your magic number. And then... Oh, you're fucked, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It is for mature audiences only if you didn't see the placard earlier. All right, 6, 10, um, 13, and 19 plus... 22 damage. And that is a mix of sneak, holy, and just stabbing you in the face with a knife. So noted. Uh, A foul aroma (laughs) arises and the screaming intensifies. This fucker is going to call down everything in the forest. Uh, New round initiative. Eh, That's not good. Eight. 11, 8, uh, 22. 22 is up. Cool. I'm yeah. going to beat its face, and then I'm going to stab its face, and then I'm going to beat its face some more. Uh, so, Are you reckless or just raging? Uh, it's prone, so I'm just, <laughs> while it's on the ground, I get advantage. Okay. Um, 20 to hit for the first one. 22 for the second one. And uh, 17 for the last one. All of those hit. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring enough dice. Here, let me help you. I'll roll three of them. Uh, Three is the total. total. (laughs) 18. um, 25. 27. And 32. Total? Total. Damage. Got it. Uh, Being nice, Frank, by the way, I could go all out. I appreciate that. Uh, The Alba rises to its feet, and I'm pretty sure... You know what? I might might kill the fucker that's bound. So he's going to be 2-3. Bite is 5. That's Dewey. Yeah. Claws is a 2. That's Lucas. So we're flip-flopping it. Okay. I did get Dewey, but I did not get Lucas. Uh, so bite is 1d10 plus 5. Because uh, I got a 26. I'm assuming 26 hits you. Yeah. Uh, 12 damage to you. 6 damage to me. That's right, because you're raging. You're a raging asshole. Lucas, <laughs> uh, the military man is... Ah, 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 ah. Um, 
Yeah, I want him to shut up. Oh, 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 hang on a second. I'm covered in your blood. Yes. Wait, is the Albert dead yet? Nope. Oh, cool. And Nalbar just went and he used his action to stand up? Uh, and, and attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cool. Then I guess I'll attack the Albert. Um, what do I want to do? Let's throw fire at it. Why not? And do, 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 do. In a forest. With a, with a prone Does guy. Does 14 hit? Hey, a yes, thunderstorm had just moved through here, so it should all be damp. Should be. I mean, there's already a bonfire going, right? Yep. Oh, cool. So max damage. So that's not much. 12 fire damage? That is more than enough. It is going to fall towards... All on the bonfire. Four. It's going to fall on the dude. Uh, he is going to have to make a save at disadvantage since he is bound. Wait, does he die? Can I try and catch him? Does it shut and him? him? I mean the owlbear? <laughs> you can try, but that fucking thing is really heavy. I'm really strong and I'm raging. If you can hit it and roll higher than a 15, just straight up 15, hit it, and then if you hit it, roll straight up D20, Higher than 15, I'll let you canter lever it with the possibility that it heads towards Lucas instead. 50 no. 50. No. So see if you hit it. Should be um, easy. Yes. Roll a d20 straight up. Higher than 15, you do push it. Now I am raging, so I get advantage on all things strength. Mm -hmm. So do I get to roll two d20s flat then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. That's an eight and a five. So, so dude. you push him in the back, spinning him, which is a bonus because the beak is not going to impale uh, poor Jack Tripper, the guard, who sees it coming and rolls out of the way with a 19 first roll, 15 on the disadvantage. Uh, and it collapses in a smoldering mess. Now two things stink. And the guardsman just fucking passes out from fear. Oh, good. Finally, I'm conscious. Um, I loot. <laughs> <laughs> the owlbear is strapped with a bag of holding cane. No, no, no. I loot the campsite. I, the what? dude's unconscious. I loot everything. The unconscious dude, the campsite, everything. He has eight gold pieces to his name, a longsword, a crossbow, ten quarrels, a blanket, and some uh, cooking oh. utensils. Oh. oh, and a helmet. Oh. And a tabard, if you want that. That's shit-stained now. Ew. Eight gold. What kind of crossbow? Uh, light. Okay. Uh, light Military travels light, baby. Cool. Um, while he's unconscious, I'll slit his throat. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Why would you do that? Uh, uh, um, I no witnesses. I, I don't <laughs> understand. We've been in trouble so much lately because of the witnesses. Dewey, you see Lucas pull forth a dagger and head menacingly towards the unconscious, poop-covered guardsman who is still bound. A uh, royal kill, I may add. Uh, do you try and stop Lucas, or are you going to let him cut off his head and wear it across three states? Garland Don't worry, Green. Dude, I'm going to untie him. <laughs> Hashtag Garland Green. <laughs> <laughs> I go ahead and raise my knife and my hammer threateningly at Lucas. Wait, threateningly towards me, or? Yes. <laughs> Why? We can't kill him. We can't keep killing people. <laughs> oh my god, the barbarian's the voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay. Let's while he's unconscious, now's the perfect time. Let's undo his bonds. I, I untype his rope. So we can make sure he's safe throughout the night. No no no. No no no. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes, yes, yes. We don't have to be here to do it, though. We can go over to the tree. We'll take him, tie him to the tree. Yeah, let's tie him to the tree. As you, we'll cut his, the tree. as you cut his bonds, he sits bolt upright and oh, screams, looks over face. at the owlbear again, <laughs> and faints dead away yet again. 
in a comedic performance. Cool. Uh, we're tying him to a tree, I guess. Yes. Okay. We Closer we to the bonfire so he doesn't get cold, or? Of course. Okay. Well, I'll put a cloak around him. A few minutes later, after tying this individual up, he wakes up. <gasps> and we <sighs> gag him as well. I FYI. I gagged Wait. him. You can gag him, absolutely. I gagged him. He was getting annoying. Hello. We're we're done here, right, Dewey? <laughs> well, no, we gotta make sure he stays here all night long, and then we gotta untie him. Because oh. an owl bear might eat him. And Dewey's only taking a short rest. Oh. He got four hours. Cool. I guess I'll keep watch. While you finish your rest, Dewey. We, I, Dewey, we, we got trust. <laughs> Dewey, uh, you wake up and the guy's dead. You aren't sure how. <laughs> Lucas is like cleaning off his there, dagger dude. on his pants, you know. <laughs> Dewey, uh, are you going to try and get back to bed? Uh, yeah, I'll go back to sleep. Once I'm sure that Lucas isn't going to kill him. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, this dude that's tied up, I'm going to give him wet willies. I'm fucking with him. I'm <laughs> You know what? Uh, while Dewey sleeps uh, and Lucas is fucking with him, I'll give Lucas another investigation check. Uh, cool. Long-term interaction with this guy. Eight. Not a clue. <laughs> not a fucking clue. Of course not. I don't. I don't want to know this guy. You guys are like murdered. Sherlock Holmes' dumber brother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the night passes uneventfully, although there is a slight uh, misty rainstorm. It doesn't last very long, um, just enough to bring in a chill. Uh, the next morning, fire is still going because I assume in between wet willies and pantsing, Luke has kept the fire going. Uh, nobody is worse for wear because Lucas has already healed the guy. He still smells like shit, uh, and he's still gagged. And uh, the constant harassment by the wood elf has darkened his opinion of you two. He is now silent and just huh. brooding. So now he's quiet. Yeah, what did you want him to do? Yell for four hours? <laughs> no, I'm just like, if he hadn't <laughs> been quiet in the first place, I would have not gagged him and tied him up, maybe. Let's see, I got hit on the back of the head, jumped on, roped, and a fucking owlbear nearly fell on me. I can't imagine uh, why I'm I would sorry. be... I'm sorry, did we save him from an owlbear? Yeah, we saved him from an owlbear. He's not we really sure. Dead? So, uh, you have your prisoner. You are one day out of think. <laughs> um, Progress. So, Dewey, should we keep on going on our way? Yes. All right. We, we gotta leave him his stuff, though. Wait, what? We what? We gotta leave him his stuff. What? No, I have his stuff. Owl bears in the woods. Yeah, they're owl bear. I didn't take his sword, just his crossbow and his eight gold pieces and the ten bolts that go with the crossbow. <laughs> but everything else, I left. <laughs> yeah, I left the bedding and I left, you know, his long sword. Does he, he have like a little knife, like a little boot knife on him? Yeah. What about the boot knife? Okay. He has a dagger. Oh, I want the dagger. I'll take it. No, I'm leaving him the dagger and the sword. <laughs> well, we're leaving him tied up. So, what use is that? <laughs> He's going to have to cut himself free somehow. Really? He's a deserter. They're going to kill him if they find him, unless he keeps He's running. Gonna He's going to die no matter what. No, I'm, I'm going to... That's why I were okay, having okay, this okay, argument okay. right in front of this tied-up guy. Oh, yes, I'm aware. And he okay. is still... I'm going to cut a few of the ropes, but leave, like, two ropes there. And then I'm going to stick a knife, like, right up here, so it's above the ropes. That so way he can kind of shrug out. his shoulders and eventually ah. shimmy the rope. Got it. I like it. It's That's better fair. than a cigarette. That, that okay. slow burns. And when Lucas isn't looking and is leaving, I'm going to slip him 300 gold into his thing for his troubles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How come he gets more gold than me? 
Are you trying to be good or something? I don't get this. I've been good the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> misunderstood and really bad with people skills. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Either way, I, I don't know about the 300 gold. We're off. Let's go. We're continuing, south. continuing south through uh, the woods. Yep. Yes. Let's do it. Uh, you go about two days, you cross into the grasslands, and you come to a lake uh, to the uh, west side of the lake. There is a bridge crossing a river. Uh, Arcana check. Ooh, cool. Both of you. I can do that really well. 16. A, two, a 22 or two? 22. 22 and 16. Dewey, you recognize this area from the globe at Lady Torgal's uh, manor. Lucas, uh, you pull forth a book from your backpack, flick through it several times, and check the area, and you tell Dewey, I think we're close to Battle Keep. Battle Keep. Mm -hmm. that have we Battle Keep. Thing to do with the rod of holding or the rod of catching or the cult of Sensua? Mm -hmm. Which one? Rod. Rod? Cool. Mm -hmm. I let him know that we're near this keep. And keep it's also keep. haunted. A haunted keep that uh, maybe has a rod of catching that goes with our magical prison box to seal evil. You remember that it was on the river shoreline, but you don't see it here. You see the river, but you don't see any keep in this area. Using my druid skills, do I realize that this could be due to you know flooding of the river or something along those lines? No, the river hasn't uh, reached flood stage yet. Uh, you just... You think you're in the area, you just don't think you're on top of it. Oh, cool. So um, the river empties into the lake. So if you want to find Battle Keep, you can follow the river. First, you've got to cross the bridge. So, Dewey, you want to try and go against a haunted keep without a cleric? Or, or looking at the map, uh, you can stay on this side of the river and hope that the keep's on this side of the river. It's a 50-50 shot at it. <laughs> Can I make a history check to see if I remember from the image of the globe? Uh, the image of the globe was inconsequential. It wow. was plastered right on the river. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. I think we don't have the box. And if we have to contain the evil, getting the rod and taking it to the library is our best option. And now, I think with your tinkering skills, we could make do make a raft, and we could go down the middle of the river. So whichever side the keep is on, we can land there. I have better skills. I have woodworking skills. Oh yeah, let's go with that. Freaking canoe. As luck would have it, there's a uh, small forest just over the bridge, where you can go ahead and hack a tree down. I feel like we want to go across the bridge, but not us. Now, if it helps, uh, if you follow the river line, uh, you there's it's swampy. Uh, no, swamps are bad. Swamps. Yeah, are yeah, no, I remember that. You want me to go across the bridge first, and then uh, if it's all cool, you can follow. I mean, I I can. I don't care. Yeah, sure. If you want to go across the bridge first. That can... way he can destroy the bridge and fuck you over if something's on the other side. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't care. I can go first if need be. I can always like Misty Step or Gaseous Swarm out of there. And leave Dewey dead. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, no, I want to both go across at the same time, provided this bridge looks like a good place to go across both at the Does same time. it look stable? Oh, yeah, it's a, bridge? a stone bridge. Oh, okay. The stone and bridge? It, yeah, it's it's got ruts in it from carts, so it's been around forever. And it looks, it would appear stable. Cool. There's no guards or any military outposts. 
Look to the left, look to the right. The partially swollen river, but not flood stage, cuts across. The stone bridge kind of arches over. There's a troll under the bridge, I check. Yeah. Nothing under the bridge. There All is right. some graffiti, though. Bushmill sucks beans. <gasps> There's some hooligans near here who share similar life views. <laughs> Probably a murder hobo has been here. Let's cross the bridge. Yes. I Roll initiative. Knew it. 12. 13. You cross the bridge without incident. Woo! We're faster than the troll. I guess. I was skipping. <laughs> All right, we made it across the bridge. Yeah. Uh, there's a copse of trees, the start of a forest over there. Uh, no, that the trees. That'll, that away along the oh, plains okay. is uh, it, that way along the river or plains. So you're kind of in a, a high ground area. The other side was low ground with a swamp. So While can, we were on the bridge at the Ark, did we perchance see uh, a, a tower? No, you did not. Okay. Still several miles away. I want to climb a tree to get better visibility. Okay. Uh, you, you climb like the first set of trees here or the trees that are along the lake? First set of trees here. Okay. Give me a dex check. Uh, give me a dex check for every 30 feet you go up. 30 it's feet? Ponderosa pine, baby. We're going 90 feet up if you want. 90 feet? Okay. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to do it. Three dex checks, though. Uh, all right. And not all at once, because if you fall, it could be some damage. Well, if I fall, I plan on using Misty Step or something to save myself. Sure, you can plan on that. <laughs> As you're getting whacked by branches. Is this an ugly tree, perchance? <laughs> Not yet, but I think it's going to hit him with one. <laughs> All right. Well, my first roll was a 22, so I'm 30 feet up. You're 30 feet up. All right. Second roll. Five. Down you go. That's fall. What? That, that's falling? Oh, yeah. Take. So, uh, I can't gaseous form or misty step or something to save myself as a, do I, like, as a bonus action. It's only going to be three damage. To fall all the way back down to the ground. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to cast a spell because you're hitting several branches on the way down. You're yeah. like uh, Plinko. Do, 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 do. Hey. Can I use athletics to climb the tree since you got to be athletic to climb? Sure. Yeah. I'd like no, you know what? Let's stick with dexterity. Use. Can I make a dexterity athletics check? <sighs> Fuck it. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I hope it's a one because you're going to land on him. Uh, natural 20 for the first one. Okay. Lucas, are you climbing back up? No, I'm getting out of this guy's way so he doesn't fall on me. 26 for the second one. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 17 for the last one. You are 90 feet up. Uh, your portly position is causing the tree to sway. Uh, D, D, D12 against me. <laughs> Eight. Uh, Eleven. You are on one of the taller trees. So you are 90 feet up in the air uh, and you can look around. So give me a perception check. This is where I suck. Oh, an 18. Holy fuck, there's a giant coming this way. What kind of giant? A big one. Like, is he a fat hill giant? Is he a short squat fire giant? He's bobbing in and out of the trees, so it looks like he's coming around the woods. Uh, mm -hmm. He's kind of balding, maybe a little on the fat side. Ew. Lucas, give me a insight check for hearing. Uh, can, can I, I say be perception? Because I actually have 
It can be perception. Proficiency on that. All right. Yeah, if you have per per the proficiency in hearing, go ahead. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, that's a 12. Yeah, I get a plus nine on that. <laughs> <laughs> There's something moving around, but you're too busy uh, looking up at Dewey's ass to make sure it doesn't fall on you. Cool. Do I still see the tower from up here other than the giant? Do not see the tower. If I carefully spin around the branch and look the other way. So you're going to give the giant uh, another round of advancement. Uh, yes, I kind of really want to find this tower. Okay. Uh, perception check at disadvantage. No. That wasn't necessary, Frank. Three. Yeah, uh, it must be obscured by some of the larger things. Lucas, no need for a perception check this time. You hear the lumbering of fee fi fo fum and a rather large, imposing figure rounds the forest. You notice that it has one eye. Uh. Roll initiative, everybody. Dewey, you are starting to lose sight of it because of the branches beneath you. Mm -hmm. 12. 14? 16. So the uh, thing hasn't seen me yet, right? Uh, it will this round. Dewey, uh, you are starting to lose sight of this creature, and you know it's headed right for Lucas. What do you want to do? I'd like to shout a distraction. Distraction! Give me a deception roll. Ah, oh, fuck you, Frank. Oh, hold on. What's your easiest role? Anything but that. <laughs> oh, athletics. Yeah, figures. Uh, so that's a four minus three is one. It can't hear you. Uh, the uh, conifer branches are blocking it. Is that the only thing you're doing? I would like... Uh, what would Lucas do? Lucas would leave the... Run! <laughs> <laughs> he would not answer the door. I'm just going to wait up here and see what Lucas does. But I'm going to pull out my little dagger, getting ready to fall down on this Cyclops if I have to. <laughs> Lucas, you're up. <laughs> uh, this, this thing walks around. <laughs> so since it hasn't seen me yet, I'm just going to cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Well, it's seen you. I thought you said it hadn't. Yeah. Yeah. It comes around and. But now you can cast invisibility. I, I just don't. Okay. I don't get how how the giant was able to sneak up on me. So it saw me at the same time I saw it. Three plus nine is how it snuck up on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You heard something coming uh, and. You're underneath a tree watching for Dewey and you hear something and it rounds the corner and you guys lock eye contact. So you can do whatever you want. You can go invisible. That's not a problem at all. Um, you've got the initiative. Um, cool. Then yeah, I'll, I'll just go invisible. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll use my movement action to get 30 feet farther away behind some trees. You see it blink, pull forth its club, new round. Cool. 11. 17. Lucas, you're up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold my action. Wait until it leaves. It looks around, takes its stubby little fingered hand, grabs a handful of dirt, and just whooshes it into the air and blinks and watches. Okay. Uh, Lucas has a hold action. Dewey, what do you want to do? I'm quietly waiting now. New round. Seems Initiative. Quiet. 
Seven. Five. Six. Dewey, you're up. I leap down and I stab it in the fucking eye. No. I'm still gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my action to fall out of the tree. If I start hearing screams. Okay. Lucas, uh the creature shrugs its shoulders and heads over the bridge. Nice. I wait until it's well away. Dewey, you can see it plain as day because <laughs> uh, how you're you're waiting till it's out of eyesight. Yeah, yeah, I mean I'm I'm just gonna make sure that it's completely gone. Uh very good. Uh Dewey perception, Lucas perception at disadvantage. All right. <laughs> eleven. Uh, uh, eleven. Lucas, as you're watching the thing disappear, you see a head pop up from the lakeside. Kind of stand up. It looks like a human, and it's it's looking. And then it comes running towards the bridge. Okay, so not giant size. Human size. As, as a matter of fact, it's a human. Is it Joe, the guy we tied up? Did he finally catch up with us? It is not. It is an individual uh, not wearing armor and only carrying a dagger. Do we recognize this person? Not in the least. You notice that his physique is in excellent condition. He's got abs of steel and buns of steel. Same as Frank. That's right. Just randomly. I, I just he wrote could up seduce here. you. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, he's got he's got a headband on. Uh, he's wearing a Nike swoosh shirt, and he's running headlong. This guy seems interesting. Is Dewey still up in the tree? Dewey's still up in the tree and you're still invisible. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on this guy and I'll wait for Dewey to come down. Dewey rolled yeah. a one. He doesn't see shit. He's got a pine cone in his ass. Right, but I mean, Dewey knows that the giant left, so I would hope he would be coming down soon. Yeah. So I'm Are waiting you? for that to occur. Can I make one last check the opposite direction just to make sure that I didn't miss the uh, tower that was over there? You can, but you've already choked on the rolls, so it's not going to do you any well, good. Well, it was at disadvantage. Now that I am not looking at a giant and rushing my view. Sure, go ahead. Thank you. It rarely matters anyway. That was a two. <laughs> I would like to come down now. <laughs> Give me your three rolls to come down safely. Three. It's okay. Three up, three down. End of an inning. That's a net one on the second attempt. You don't have to roll the third one. Take 12 damage. <laughs> Lucas, you notice that this running individual has crossed the bridge just as a pile of shit falls out of one of the conifers, closely resembling Dewey Docamel. The man is perplexed and stops and jogs over to Dewey and leans down and says, are you okay? And then looks up. And wonders why it's raining men. <laughs> it's raining gnomes. I'm actually gnomes. the tree gnomes. It's, it's a yeah, a tree gnome. It's a it's a I'm subclass a not gnome. detailed in the unearthed arcana yet. Yeah, I'm no. a tree gnome. I was so, making uh, cookies uh, that had the chocolate on the back and the little chocolate stripes. Nice. You're a Keebler gnome. There you go. Uh, you are face down in the dirt. Uh, Lucas, the individual does not reach for the dagger, does not appear to be threatening. You are not close enough to hear what he is saying to Dewey. Well, I do want to sneak closer so I can hear what's going on. Uh, as you sneak closer, he helps pick Dewey up off the ground, brushes him off a bit, uh, checks him, asks him if he's okay. Ask him where he came from. The tree, obviously. He's like a nice guy, but who carries around just a dagger? Thieves. I make sure he doesn't slide of a hand. <laughs> you. you see a dagger coming around his throat. 
yeah, I get one attack while invisible before I become uninvisible. <laughs> then, yes, kill the NPC. Fuck these guys. Frank's NPCs are dicks. Kill them all. Uh, Dewey, uh, the gentleman seems to be uh, genuinely concerned about your health. I'm, I'm, I'm Dewey Dacamel. I, I just came from Fink and I was up in the tree hiding from the Cyclops. Ah, I saw that thing pass me. I had to hide down by the uh, down by the lake shore. Yeah, um, it's like I was in Chicago or a something. A wood elf. I'm sorry. Have you seen my friend, a wood elf? He was down by this tree somewhere. I I I only saw you fly out of the sky like a fallen angel, my fallen angel. Do you have a giant library? Do I have a giant library? I'm just a messenger. Oh, okay. Oh, where are you going? I'm going south to Fulton. I have to get word to the military there. Where? Uh, what happened? You haven't heard? Not yet. Bird is the word. <laughs> what uh, do you think I was up in the uh, trunk for? The, the Grand Academy um, has fallen. The what has fallen? The Grand Academy. Where we're from? Yeah. Yeah, I do that real fast. Yeah, I, I see. You didn't you didn't know? Yes, it, it's it's been taken over by evil. Oh. The Grand Master's dead. Oh. Do you know where the keep is? What keep? I forgot the name of the keep since Battle Keep. You know where Battle Keep is? <laughs> Uh, it's along the river shoreline somewhere around here. Battleway, I think. Yeah. Did you see the size of that freaking canyon back to the north? There was a canyon? Yeah. We destroyed the bridge, remember, Dewey? Uh, not <laughs> we. <laughs> oh, yeah, I destroyed the bridge. Remember, That's... Dewey? <laughs> yeah, they've got people working on it, but I damn near got killed coming here. I landed in the north. I'm telling everybody. Yes, the the academy's the, the academy's been destroyed. Blight and evil have taken over the world. Is this confirmed? The Grand Master is dead, or because evil has overtaken the academy, and he's a vegetable that we assume he's dead. He reaches down the front of his tunic, right around the groin area. Oh. Pulls out a scroll, a very girthy scroll, and starts to read. Goes, lettuce, tomatoes. Yes, Grandmaster's dead. Right there, black and white. Oh, God, we killed the Grandmaster. Now, if you're okay, I've got to get this message to Fulton, where the military's at. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and he takes off running his marathon. Oh, I was going to make a marathon joke, but you stole it from me. Hey the DM's too fast. Lucas, are you going to reappear yet? Uh, after he's far into the distance, yes. He makes pretty good time. So he's a sprinter. Uh, he takes off. Rounds the tree line and off he goes. Uh, Dewey, whoop, Lucas pops back in and says, did I hear that correctly? Grandmaster's dead. No, I met the guy who was looking for lettuce and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like he was reading his shopping list, for God's sake. And the Grandmaster's dead. Cool. So um, And the Academy's no more. I guess there's no rush then on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Heroes, folks. All right, we got to go back. We got to kill the messenger. Now we got to kill the deserter. I apologize, Lucas. You were right. No one can know we were here. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I'm kidding. We should become evil. It sounds a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> or at least so murder the academies. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot easier. Uh, Wow. I don't know what to do with you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you think you guys will head? 
Battle Keep, I think. Oh yeah, that's where you're gonna Maybe. head next. Well, I, I just don't know if we want to get the rest of the group before we go to the keep. Because I was thinking maybe following that that. Well, to be fair, Maniz. What? What about Maniz? Maniz Gwent Trader. I heard he's humping hobgoblin chicks in Simon's Hollow. Oh yeah. He joined those gnomes who have been trying to kill us. And are and still out me. there somewhere. Well, we're going to do a whole warrior thing where they're loaded up on a gnome war bus and trying to kill you. Oh, God. And then they're going to get with the elves who carry bats and they're the furies. <laughs> ah, the skatings were loser dorks. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, watch the warriors. It's a classic. Uh, so yeah, so, so do you guys are you guys going to go to Battle Keep or are you going to try and find your associates? Eh, Battle Keep and see how dangerous it is. See if we yeah. uh, can do it ourselves. Fair enough, uh, folks. It's almost ten after. Uh, these guys have had two two potential combat encounters, or three, depending on how you look at the mercenary, uh, and two or one, depending on how you look at the mercenary non combat encounters. <laughs> they learned nothing from the mercenary slash deserter. Uh, they did, however, learn that. Uh, yeah, you got your roles really sucked tonight. <laughs> uh, so you know we're we're pushing the plot forward. Um, where we go from here, we aren't really sure. We've got one more episode of the campaign before uh, these guys all return to Scott's world uh, for game hole. Or, yeah, it's game hole, right? Is that where he's doing it? At? I think so. Yeah, game hole uh, as he works on that. This weekend, or tomorrow night is going to be Between the Rules, uh, where we're going to bore the shit out of you with something inane like time jumping and how to rectify uh, player surprise anal uh, comments, something like that. Uh, and then this Saturday is a one-shot, so if you're interested in doing a one-shot, let us know. You can have a table with these guys and show how good a role player you are as they try and kill you and steal your gold. Oh, hey, 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 now. You better have more than eight gold pieces. I will definitely do that to you if you join the campaign. <laughs> what, what if, hey, Carol joined the campaign, and she's thrilled to no end. Uh, and she's a scapegoat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do final thoughts. Final thoughts uh, started with Lucas. We'll start with Dewey. Kyle, what would you think? Final thoughts. Uh, uh, that was fine and dandy. How much time has passed since we left Fink? Uh, one month. One month. One month. All right. Yeah. You're, no, you're that's just, a... you're just starting month two. I may have to alter the timeline to just make it two months because you guys are traveling quite rapidly. The farther south you go, the more blight you'll notice, though. Yeah, we do a really good job when it's just two of us. Uh, yeah. Car Carol and Blake did the same thing yesterday, so uh, maybe uh, they gave away all their money to someone too. No, they, you, yeah. you know, Dewey not or, or, or Kyle, you know, Kyle, if you'd watch the show, you get our numbers up. Well, even how do I watch the show? Just do it at work. Nobody does any real work anymore. No, I mean, how do I watch the show? I'm not. Oh, doing that's a good. You know what? I'm glad you asked that. If you go to twitch.com slash mhobo inc, uh, you can pick up all of those or you can go to tinyurl.com mhobo inc archive and see them all on YouTube where mm -hmm. I've compressed the end and the, the start so that you don't have to listen to endless music that's cut off by Twitch because they're Nazis. Uh, yeah, I'll go with Nazis. No. Lucas, <laughs> Lucas, final thoughts. Uh, man, we, we got a lot accomplished when it's just two of us. Uh, we <laughs> may need to make this permanent. <laughs> Chris, Blake, Carol, watch your ass. <laughs> uh, yes, it, it is much easier to run two players. Uh, last night, however, our two players were in opposite locations, so it was back and forth. With you two being together, it is much faster. Uh, so I'm going to say you have reached uh, month two, uh, just like everybody else. That's how fucking special you are. Yeah. Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy really cool shit like what Ernie's wearing, what I'm wearing, uh, like 
what my bath mat is, which is really super fucking cool, uh, go to tinyurl.com RPG swag. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we will hopefully see you tomorrow for Between the Rolls, if not then, Saturday for God help us, a one shot. Uh, for all you out there in TV land, thank you. Bye. Thank you.